Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my channel and let's start again with me, Aninosa Heri. We are going to talk about TOEFL and this part is about structure and written expression. Now, let's start with sentence with one clause. Skill 1. Be sure the sentence has a subject and a verb. For your information, sentence can consist of one clause or more than one and we are going to talk about one clause first. In addition, we have to know that subject is the doer, pelaku. It can be noun or pronoun. What is noun? For example, bread, book, city, etc. What about pronoun? Here, we use pronoun as subject. For example, I, you, they, we, he, she, it. And now it's verb. What is verb? Verb is what the doer does yang dilakukan oleh si pelaku. And the verb can be to be is mr was were and been and can be action verb sing, sleep, run, cook, etc. Now let's go on to the examples in TOEFL test about this. I said to you before that we have to make sure that the sentence consists of at least a subject and a verb. Now let's find where the subject is and where the verb is in this example. Blang 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 was backed up for miles on the freeway. Here we have was backed. What is was backed? Alright, was backed is as the verb. Have you got any subject here? Not yet. There is no subject in the sentence. So let's answer. Yesterday in the morning, traffic or cars. Remember that subject can be noun or pronoun. Subject bisa berupa noun atau pronoun. Apakah yesterday itu noun atau pronoun? No. It's neither pronoun or noun. Mainkan yesterday adalah adverb of time. In the morning too, it is adverb of time, keterangan waktu. Now we have traffic and cars. Traffic and cars are noun. Traffic and cars itu adalah noun, kata benda. Sekarang kita lihat was backed. Was adalah to be yang digunakan untuk singular subject. Untuk Subject yang hanya ada satu. Now let's see traffic and cars. Yang mana yang menunjukkan singular, yaitu traffic. Why it's not the cars? Karena cars ada s-nya di belakang. Kalau kata benda atau noun di belakangnya ada s, biasanya ini jamak atau plural. So the answer is traffic was backed up for miles on the freeway. Bisa dipahami ya teman-teman Next, this is the example 2 Engineers blank 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 for work on the new space program Do we have subject here? Yeah, we have engineers Engineers is a subject in the sentence Then, do we have verb in the sentence? Not yet, there is no verb so we need to find the verb. Verb can be to be or action verb or both. Jadi verb itu bisa berupa to be atau action verb. Now necessary. Necessary is noun. So it's not necessary. Or needed. Or itu to be needed action verb. Bisa saja. Okay. So, it can be B for the answer. Now C, hopefully. It's an adverb. And next month is adverb 2. So, the answer is B, are needed. Engineers are needed for work on the new space program. Okay, we have the next example. The boy, blank blank blank, going to the movies with a friend. Now, do we have subject in the sentence? Yep, we have the boy. The boy is noun and it is as subject. 
Next, do we have verb here? Yeah, we have going here, but it's not complete. It's still incomplete. So we have to complete this verb. Now, if we choose A, he is. He is pronoun. It can be subject. But it will be redundant if we choose A, will be a double subject, the boy and he. So the answer is not A, and it is neither B. Bukan A, bukan B, karena akan pemborosan atau double subject, the boy and he. Now, if we choose C and D, the boy is relaxing, going. Yes, di sini adalah to be, relaxing juga adalah verb, bisa jadi. And if we choose D, will be. The boy will be going. Remember about future tense pattern understanding. So the answer is D. The boy will be going to the movies with a friend. Because we cannot say the boy is relaxing going. It's not the pattern. Jadi pada skill ini akan sangat memudahkan teman-teman jika teman-teman memiliki background knowledge sebelumnya. Seperti tadi ada mengenai singular dan plural nouns, kemudian the uses of to be, whether it's for singular or plural subject, and about this too, about the use of future tense, kemudian juga mengenai penggunaan tenses-tenses, etc. So insya Allah akan sangat membantu pada skill ini. Oke okay, teman-teman, itu dia penjelasan mengenai skill 1 We have to remember to be sure that a sentence consists of at least a subject and a verb Jadi di sini kita berusaha menemukan mana subjek dan mana verbnya Mana yang hilang atau tidak ada di dalam kalimat tersebut Kita cari jawabannya di options-nya Good luck and wassalamualaikum Thanks for watching, semoga bermanfaat And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe this video Dan nyalakan lonceng notifikasi